The storm brought power outages for most residents and businesses. Luckily, most people are back up and running again. But those outages caused problems for many businesses, some of which lost money. News 10's Madison Zaleski joins us now live in the newsroom. She tells us how local small businesses dealt with the recent storms and where they are now. Patrice Rondrell, today I spoke with several local businesses who lost power over the weekend. From drive-in movie theaters to local restaurants and small stores, all of them had to adapt. The series of storms caused some massive headaches for most residents and businesses across the Wabash Valley. Studio 12 is one business that had the added challenge of going without internet for several days after the storm. We operate, you know, a, a lot of our communication with our customers is through social media, right? And so we didn't have that. In addition to that, their cash register was down, leaving them to only accept cash. But Chu says they were one of the lucky ones who didn't lose power. If they did, she says it would have been detrimental to their inventory. We have lost, you know, all of our ingredients. We would have lost all the pies that we had baked for the weekend. Um, and it just would have been, I mean, it, the, the price tag on that for us would have been really hard to overcome. Not only did the storms impact small stores, <coughs> but also businesses that care for our furry friends. St. Francis Canine Rescue remained open after the storm, but they were also left without phone or internet for the past five days. Owner Tom Cool says they have been overwhelmed with pet owners needing to board their dogs. First 24 hours, 15 to 20 calls, people wanting to board their dogs uh, because of no power in their house, uh, uh, lack of air conditioning. Since then, Cool says they took in roughly 30 to 40 dogs. While they are back up and running, Cool shared that it was a struggle during this black period. We were living before internet, before cell phones. Uh, we were going back to that period. Some of the dogs are still here. Some of the people's houses are inhabitable because the trees have actually uh, penetrated their house. Most of the power across the Wabash Valley is back up and running, and both businesses also shared with me they plan to invest in backup generators in case this happens again. Reporting live in the newsroom, Mazin Zaleski, News 10.